Hi everyone, it's Kiwi here for Soy and Shay, and thank you for joining me for a Saturday soapy video. Today I'm going to be using the fruit pieces that we made in the midweek video and I am making fruit slices by Aroma. It says that it has candied citrus fruits of grapefruit in it, but I'm smelling all sorts of sweet fruits. It is a sweet fragrance, but it's not too sickly sweet. Um, it's just got all those really nice fruity bubbly smells to it. Um, it has got 0% vanillin in it, so I'm going to have white as my main base. And today I'm going to try and do not only my white, but four other colours as well. The most I've, only, I've ever done is three other colours, and I usually stick to my white and two colours. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully it doesn't move too quickly, and I can get all four colours in. And because I am doing the four colours, I'm going to stick to my sort of drop swirl um, soap because I know that that's a nice easy technique and we can easily change it if this does accelerate. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour my lye water into my oils. I pour them down my stick blender just to stop any splashback. I'm going to mix this up and then I'll split it out for the colours before adding fragrance and stirring it together. So we are at a very light emulsion and we're going to start separating out for the colours. Today I have some Caribbean uh, mica. This will go a bit of a funny shade but it does always come back to a really nice green colour. I have some blueberry delight mica in here and I have also put in just a little bit of blue liquid soap colorant as well because I really want that bright blue to shine through and I have found in the past that blueberry goes a little bit dull. I have also got some Tuscan Sun in here and we're only pouring off small amounts because we have got so many different colors in here. I can always add more if I need. And finally I have some really red mica from Nurture Soap. So all my other micas come from my micro obsession here in Australia and this red one is Nurture Soap and I do get that one um, sent to me from America. So I'm going to give these a quick mix up with the stick blender. I'm going to put some titanium dioxide into my main batter here and then we'll pour in the fragrance and then we will start pouring into our mould. Okay, so I'm going to start by pouring my colour into my yellow first just to see what happens whether it rises, accelerates or anything like that and then I can kind of decide what we're going to do with the rest of the colours. And I am at the moment thinking that this has gone nice and thin so we should be right to get some really nice drop swells through here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my fragrance into each of these, give them a good stir, then we'll grab the mould and we'll start pouring. Absolutely amazing. I'm getting orange come through it. I'm getting the grapefruit. I'm getting a bit of lime. I can smell bits of strawberry in there. Um, it really is a nice fragrance. I'm going to pour almost all of this in here and now I'm just going to start alternating between my bright colours here and just dropping them in. to have a piece of artwork that looks like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my hanger in there it did start to thicken up a little bit so rather than having that sort of ploppy look I want some swirls in there I'm not going to do it too much because those sort of colors are ones that will 
um, blend together if you are not careful and over mix it and then you just get muddy colours but that should be enough in there just to give it some wispy swirls and cut up some of those sort of bloppy pieces. Now what I'm going to do is put my white on the top and then I'll be able to come back and we will put the fruits on the top. Now I didn't want any of my colour to show on the top because I really don't want it to distract from the actual fruit that we've put out done because we took so long to actually make them. are now scraped out this has been leveled and evened out and it's now time to start putting on the fruit that we made in this week's midweek video now we didn't make all of these fruits in the video but what we did make we made some of these raspberries we made some oh some blueberries and that one's going in right there and we also made some little kiwi fruit pieces so if you're interested to see how we actually made these pieces of fruit I'll leave a link up in the top corner so you go can go and check that out I am going to straighten this blueberry up that has decided it wants to go right about there which it actually isn't a good spot because I have one of my cup lines there so we might actually just dig you out and give you a clean off so we can still use it okay so I've just cleaned my little blueberry off so we can still use that one in the soap I also have some strawberries here which I have made for another project and decided to use them on this one and I also have some pineapple pieces here which I made when doing my pineapple sangria soap and I've just cut them down into some smaller pieces for the top of this soap I'm actually going to start with the strawberries first because they are the biggest piece of fruits and I want to try and get them placed so that nothing else gets in the way so I'm just going to start popping them onto the soap so that each bar gets at least a, you know, one of each of the pieces of fruit if we can manage so. So let's get our strawberries on. Some of them may end up getting cut. I don't think I really want to be rigid with where I'm putting everything just as long as each bar gets at least some resemblance of each of these fruits. raspberry that one's missing a raspberry let's pop that one in there that's looking a little bit red now so let's start getting some of these other fruits on as well and I'm just going to start randomly placing them I, I know I'm going to end up cutting some of these with the soap cutter so I'm not going to be too particular about where we're popping them now I'm just going to start filling them in with all these different pieces I don't think I'm going to end up with you know a piece of fruit per bar as what I was intending but I also don't want my bars to be too rigid in colour so I'm just going to start putting pieces of soap on wherever they land so let's start getting a bit of colour and put these ones on and I will end up cutting this with the single bar cutter so that we don't ruin the multi bar with having to cut through all these pieces of glycerin soap <music> getting some of these blueberries in because we're not getting very many of those in here I think a majority of them are going to get a piece of the kiwi fruit that's all looking pretty good I think they all actually have a piece of kiwi fruit so I'm just going to start scattering some of these blueberries and I know a few more of these also need some pieces of pineapple so we're going to get those in there as well just while I'm finishing off putting these embeds in here I do want to address one little thing that um, I have noticed in this last week I have had a lot of friend requests come through on my fa personal Facebook page 
Now, I don't mean to sound rude, ungrateful or anything else because I really do appreciate all you guys following me and supporting me. But if you do want to follow along with things that are happening in my personal life, I do recommend that you actually follow me through Instagram because this is where I'm actually going to post most of that sort of information. I don't use my personal Facebook page as a lot of other people probably do. I have an awful lot, in fact most of my family are overseas and I use Facebook as a way of keeping in contact with all of my family that live overseas. So I don't tend to have other people on there, it is primarily for my family so they can see what we are up to while we're living in Australia and things like that so please 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 don't take it offensively if I haven't answered um, any of your friend requests it's not that I'm trying to be rude so I don't as I said I don't mean to be rude I don't mean to be ungrateful I really really do appreciate all of your support and um, everything else on this journey that I'm going on um, but it is actually best to follow along with me on Instagram rather than on my personal Facebook page so I am really, really happy with that. I've got lots of fruit left over, but I'm not going to ruin it by putting any more excess into here. I am already pretty chock-a-block on some of these pieces. I think that piece is missing a bit of pineapple. Um, in fact, we're missing pineapple in this whole sort of section here. So we might squish that blueberry across, pop that bit of pineapple in there. And that's looking good. So each piece of soap is actually going to be different. We'll just move that one out of the way. Now to finish the top of this soap off, I got in some bio glitter here and I've just popped it into one of the glitter spray pumps and I'm going to give this ooh, a quick spritz with some of the clear bio glitter. Okay, so I am really, really pleased with how that is looking. I am really hoping this smell holds while it sets because it is smelling amazing. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. So here is fruit slices up close. I am so happy with it. It has come up exactly how I thought it would look. It is smelling absolutely amazing. It's a really good fragrance. I am looking forward to getting this one cut so we can see what the swirls are on the inside. So I'm going to leave it overnight and I'll come back and cut it later. We are back to cut fruit slices. It is looking really good and it is smelling absolutely amazing. It's a really nice fragrance. It's like a childhood fragrance. There's just something about it that brings back happy memories. Now I'm going to as mentioned earlier do this on my single bar cutter so I've got this all measured up and that is simply because I've got so much melt and pour on the top of this yes we're nice and tight so I'm just going to go nice and slowly through the top and then we'll have a look at what pattern we've got on the inside Just come back a little bit and we'll pull this first piece out and oh wow I have never had a swirl quite that intricate and also as bright as that as well. I don't gel my soaps but I'm just leaving them on the side and the colours really do pop. I do find in our summertime months that my colours pop a lot more than they do in winter and that is simply because my workshop gets quite warm during the day. Um, at the moment I'm sitting about 30 degrees as a room temperature here so I'm pretty sure that actually helps without having to force gel my soaps. So we'll get this next one cut and we'll have another look as well. I'm just going to go nice and slow through that melt and pour and we're through. We'll get this next piece out and wow we have got another really really pretty intricate swirl on that. I am so pleased with all of those colours. I was a little bit secretly worried that they were all going to muddy up together and just not look pretty but they each have their own colour and they match in with everything that we've got on the top. So this piece has got a little bit of pineapple, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry and a little bit of kiwi fruit as well. I am so super happy with how this one has come up for me. Now, as always, I do have those glycerin rivers in here. Now, I've been testing a few of the theories out there about glycerin rivers. I tried to make a remake of my Mermaid Splashes um, 
on the same day I actually made this and I cut my water content back. Now I've managed to get myself down to 33% water which I'm really happy working at and I cut it down to 30% and as I was making it I put my lye water into um, my oils, I mixed it to emulsion, I did the bottom layer of my um, mermaid splashes, I'll leave the link to the video so you can see how I make it. By the time I had finished doing that I turned around to do the the next bit and the soap that was in the bucket that had no fragrance no color and hadn't been touched at all was solid in the pot so i don't think working at 30 percent water really is for me if i want to do some of those intricate ones so it looks like i'm just going to have to live with the glycerin rivers but you know what it really adds texture into that soap so and it also adds that moisturizing effect now I am so super happy with how the swirl has come up in this one. The four colours that I've used, um, just they all complement each other really well, matching in with all the fruits on the top and it's just nice and bright and bubbly. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make my fruit slices soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel? I do bring out weekly videos and I am at the moment trying to bring out some midweek videos just showing some of the behind the scenes preparation for the soaps that I'm making. Um, if you hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell, it will let you know when I bring out my next video. Thank you so much to all of those who have already subscribed and are supporting me in doing what I love. So until the next video, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye.